Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to episode 54 of Rule the Waves 2. German brawlers currently brawling with what appears to be half the British fleet. Um, we are off the coast of England, lots of land-based air. Our aircraft carriers are to the east. And we have the Rodney and the Empress of India off to the south with the majority of their battle cruisers off across this arc. So we're going to continue southeast, get things going. Ooh, that was not a good round. A lot of friendly air combat, which is good. Couple hits. Couple more hits. There's another hit. How are our ships feeling? 22% damage to the Hindenburg, mostly superstructure. Let's get the carriers going south, east, southeast. Seem to have attracted their attention, which is good. We can get them engaged more closely. Come slightly to port. Rodney is 30 knots. So India is 27 knots, so we do have the speed advantage on them. I told you all to go south, east, southeast. Mm, they're turning away. We will pursue. Me aircraft approaching Prince Yoigen. Got a hit on the Rodney. And the Empress of India. Get the rear turrets engaged. Couple of good rounds, definitely getting a lot of fire into the enemy battle line. Lost the Z8, unfortunate. So India and Rodney. How are they doing? Lost a turret, she's down to eight. So the Rodney is at eight. Let's dive to the south. Empress of India is now slowing. Basilisk Destroyer. Doing something. More enemy aircraft approaching. I believe the Empress of India is done at this point. As luck. Balzac, hit by a torpedo, not bad at this point. Let's out hit by a torpedo, don't care about the Empress of India's, is the Lutzow. 
Hope she wasn't hit by a friendly torpedo. Which our friendlies don't seem to mind throwing torpedoes all over. Versa of India hit by another torpedo. Basilisk is dead, leave her alone. Continuing to pursue the Rodney from her blind spot, although she can still shoot at other things. Oh, that takes care of the Rodney. Turning back northwest? Do we even want to do that? We're starting to run out of ammo. Everything helps as far as getting rid of the deficit for blockades. Keep things rolling. Rodney hit by torpedoes. Not really concerned by that anymore. Jeez. Those uh, auto cannons. Significant rate of fire. Have a slow battle cruiser. Starting to hit it. Actually, a Leander class and a Suffolk. Still firing at the Rodney. Leander is definitely slowing. And it's come to a stop. Primary target is now the Suffolk. Edinburgh low. Leander explodes. Right, getting some friendly air combat. Continue to avoid this destroyer. Suffolk has come to a stop. Why are you going that way? Oh, she's probably recovering. Or was. Okay, hit by a torpedo. Actually, I want to send the carriers due south. How is the Moltke doing? He's fine. Drop to 20 knots though. Let everybody kind of collect up together. Carriers are taking damage. Bit concerned, what kind of damage are they taking? Medium hits from six inch guns, assuming those are destroyers. Can't ignore that. 
we'll head we'll head on down there. Honestly, it's twilight. They shouldn't be engaged in air ops anymore, anyways. But they've got to recover existing flight flights. Alright, Alsoni is able to resume. Let's get our primary fleet to go disrupt these guys. I assume our destroyers with six inch guns. Oh, there are light cruisers in there. Delia taking lots of fire. Prince Yugen cannot keep up with the, uh, the division. Let's take a look. Prince Yugen. What is your status? Yeah, we can detach her. He's fine. Or she can independently operate. I don't want to detach her, then she'll go home. Our battle cruiser is doing okay though. Hoots thou. Yeah, she's fine too. So I'll just go back to squad max. Or beyond. Especially as we're about to engage. Closing in. Not as decisive as the Russian battle. Class. Getting this unidentified, which I assume is that light cruiser, Cordelia. Hit by torpedo, hit by more torpedoes, I'm no longer concerned about her. Time to pursue the other ships. This one's slowing. Alright, that one's no longer a threat. Now we have this third one. Also slowing, no longer a threat, which leaves us with those two. They're kind of meandering around. We'll close in. There we go. Starting to get hits upon them. One's definitely slower. Maneuvering like light ships. Slide in behind them. D17 signals misunderstood. So we have an acorn class. are quickly overtaking. We'll turn away, get them with the broadside. Actually does not take them out. Oh, there she goes. Full stop on her now. Carriers are successfully down south. We have five hours left. Yeah, she's disabled. I 
getting kind of inconsistently low on ammunition. We do want to depart soon. Try to pursue this destroyer. Okay, we got one hit on him. There's another. That was a significant slowing. Now we're within range, or visual range, at night. All right, there we go. With that, I think we have taken care of the British threat. Yes, they have a lot more battleships left. I don't care. A lot less than it used to be. And we'll run out the clock at this point. Unless we see more ships arriving from north. I don't think we will, but if we do, we engage them at will. We have enough ammunition left over, we can do that. <clears throat> All right, we're almost at an end. And with that, we are at the end of the battle. Yeah, they were all collecting up at their ports. Lost the end report. There we go. Won't show the end report. And right after I got done saying, oh, hey, yeah, haven't been having any issues with the, with major game breaking bugs. Here we are having to restart the program due to the battle not ending. There we go. There's an end report. We lost one destroyer. We sank three capital ships, seven cruiser, heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, six destroyers. It's favorable. Not. It's a long slog to reach parity, though. Gain to Prestige, Cape Cornwall Bank. Wow, we got a lot more money. Uh, these are the working up ones. There's our Raiders. Let's get more Vopen von Hamburgs. There we go. I'll take us into the next turn. Continuing to fight. Anti-war demonstrations in Great Britain. More AMCs commissioned. More working up. Don't care about Italian carriers. We lost one AMC. Not a big deal. 46. Keeping a steady pressure. Battle in support of land combat, I have to decline. Don't care about uh, raiders. Especially since ours are AMCs and not that tough. Only one worked up. But we can continue on. There's some more AMCs working up. Press for hard terms. Gained large territories. 
How much of what we lost can we get back? Not much is the answer. We'll take Tunisia. Our battleships come back from internment. We can send them to Northern Europe again. And we can just finish out our last two battle cruisers. At this point, we're so close to the end. I uh, might just finish it out so that we can get to the analysis post game. But we'll see what happens. We'll milk it for prestige. Uh, no to all. I will set up our air base at Tunis though. Add fighter, fighter, dive bomber, torpedo bomber, medium bomber, and medium bomber. And get another ship. Sure, I'll sell S band radar. Damn hit rates improved. And we get our last battle cruiser. Oh, lighter weight torpedoes. Italy wants a fight. Alrighty. See if we can squeeze one more war in here. Better 17 inch guns. We're gonna do one more war. Should we do one more battleship? Sure, I don't care about the type. Let's take a look at the number. And I think 17 inch guns are looking good, especially since we just got new ones. We'll do all forward armament. We're going to go for max size. Absolutely massive ship. I don't care about the expenses. Yes, yes, I know I have lots of unused. Go for reliable engines, very fast. Actually, we'll go for normal. Delete all of that extra light AA. Put in the fourth air director. Yes, up to 180 rounds. Optical, dual purpose autoloaders. Bristling with them. I don't care about four inch guns. We only need gun shields for our six inch. We'll add EF torpedo tubes. No, I misaligned those. Ah, FG. And even those are misaligned. H I. There we go. That's where I wanted them. Torpedo reloads. We want our seaplane hangar. We want four seaplanes. Got our launch for them. Massive battery of medium AA guns. We can increase the Guns to quads. And... What are we looking at? Do 24 inch turret face. 
And then let's do a least seven, preferably eight inch turret top. Plenty heavy, 21 inch for the conning tower. And immunity zone between 17 and 25. Increase the deck a little bit, increase the belt a little bit. 32 knots, 33 would be a bit much. Call it the Brandenburg Super Behemoth. Really tempted to do a second dual purpose battery, four inches, just because of the number of anti air guns. There we go. But that weighs too much. Yeah, we're not even going to bother if the battery is going to be that small. Get us up to 338. Can't fit five more rounds. There we go. The Brandenburg. Ah. Increase the tubes. Yes. Yes, I do. Speaking of, can we increase? The nope. Too many. Alrighty. We'll get her designed out. By all means, I'll sell everything to everyone all the time now. We'll declare. Relations are soured. Excellent. We'll share with the Brits. Bramberg ready for construction. We can afford to. Blucher and Brandenburg. Good names. Good history with them. Better improvement for our bombers. Conversations. Okay. Production and expenditures. Not too heavy of it. Better fire control. Still getting new fire control. We'll sell to the French. Rebellion's breaking out in Kenya for the British. We'll condemn them. And with that condemnation, we'll get another Brandenburg class called Freya. Sell to the Russians. New British carriers. Great Britain wins. Internal upheaval in Formosa. Okay. French tai Taiwan. Offering to sell us the rights. Absolutely. Two improvements in national accuracy. Thank you. We'll take the hit for that one. Oil discovered in South Africa. Alliance, yes. We love Britain. Oh, yes. Italy. Terrible. Kaiser was really talking about them. Those dastardly Italians. With that, Let's see, uh, we have, we'll leave them up, send the Lutzows 
Nice now and Sharnhorsts to the Mediterranean. Actually, do I need all of them out there? Not going to be able to invade much Italian territory. Yes, so Mediterranean only. We'll get our CVLs into the Mediterranean. We'll get our sea adlers into the Mediterranean. That'll cost us a pretty penny. Yeah, I'll take the neutral route. Oh, yeah. No, the game is over before we can get to war with Italy. I don't mind ending the game now. Let's take a look. 1900 to 1930. Wars and Prestige. Let's go through step by step. Capped out. I'm using the old score. Added these tabs to add for the extra time compared to Rule the Waves 1, but the score caps out at 60. Which I was able to cap it out in Rule the Waves 1. Good grief. Well, we can see all our significant battles and how it affected things, we just can't see how it affected things over here. Technically lost this war. Interesting. Or a couple of longer wars. Italian-French one was apparently not that long. What do we have? I guess they get squeezed out of the green zone. That Russian war being the long one. One, two, three, four, almost five years. Fleet tonnages, we are in red. You can see it drops a couple times, especially during that second Russian war, or first Russian, third Russian war. And tonnages raise again. Lost a bit in the Central European War. And then we just went up from there. With the Russian war getting us, ooh, lost a few ships there. Then our overall economy. Catching its second wind. Only people with significantly higher economy being the US. Summary of ships lost. 1900 to 1956. Oh, we built that many submarines. Interesting. I'll have to take a longer look at the um, the almanac and seeing how things went. Uh, do a look at how well each of these ships did, what losses we had. Maybe a debrief of how things went. I'm not sure. That might not be worth an episode. We'll see. But, with that, I'm going to call this episode to a close a little bit early. Thank you for staying till the end. I'm sorry we didn't get in a fight with the Italians. I tried before it could go, um, the game could end. But alas, it was not to be. So, please leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Take care.